the Steinbeck Museum in Salinas. And as you enter, you have a rocking chair, great photo up there. And then I hear that this museum is very interactive, especially for kids. You get to see, for example, um, all the um, species that actually uh, threaten the Salinas Valley harvest. So you have uh, the lettuce aphid, the wireworms, the spider mites, the pea leaf miners, the cabbage looper, and the phylloxera, the greatest single, basically vermin of all. I guess it destroys the, the wine um, crop. So this is the introduction here to... And you start here with the author himself and with all his books. So that's there the were first as far back as you can see. Ones. But behind the last range, piled up against the sky, there was a great unknown country. Here we see his family tree and the three ladies that he married with the kids. He had four kids. And then here he loved books. And you could see there was a crunch of breaking bones. A chair that was found. Mini rocking chair that he um, it was found in his school in his house. And I guess here struggled mad. A replica, or could be his bed? Not quite sure. Let's see. Beautifully done museum. Oh. And they have they have interactive uh, things for the kids. So you pull it out. And you see books that he owned. And you pull this bottom one right here. And this is when he went to Stanford, his love letters, I guess, or friend letters. And then a different area here. Um, basically a, a, a car that was used, I guess, let me see. In the movie, could be. East of Eden. And you also have movie clips showing. And here he worked as a chemist helper in Stanford. As you can see, you can it's uh, you get like little instructions in here to do certain things. So, for example, east of Eden, and you lift, and you get to see his manuscript. Can you find? What the peddler threw away, open. Ah, chrysanthemums. And here, as Steinbeck's novel unfolded, the reader sees the strike from different angles, strikers and supporters, land owners and deputies. So let's lift. And you hear the different people. And then we're going to lift the next one.
So as you see, they have little excerpts in from his book and with things that you can touch and you could sit and you could um, feel what it felt like. This is a good one, picture spot. So you can follow on Instagram and you could um, tag. Beautifully done museum, very, very smartly, you know, wonderfully engaging for kids and adults. Oh, how to tie a good knot. Not that easy. Every little corner here has a story, has something that you want to learn from mice, of mice and men, from mice and men here. You get to see the beds. And then here, you get to lift the can, you see? Not that easy to lift it. Okay. Not sure. Oh, here's... I'll try to lift it with my other hand. Oh, there's ketchup, I guess. Yes. And then lift the hats. Lenny's. George's. Slim's. Another example of um, how you get to live his books. You look here at the window, you see uh, Quotation Ma opened the door of the house, stepped inside, the floor was splashed with grease, in one room stood a rusty tin stove and nothing more. Rose of Sharon stood beside Ma. We're gonna live here? And then it says, there's a door here, a wooden door with a handle, rope handle, and you open it. And you hear parts of the story being told. Just Aunt Ruthie and Winfield walk. Go on now, Rosh Hashanah. Either you sit in the door or else on the bed. I've got to break that box up. The museum is divided into um, the different eras, uh, starting with Steinwick's um, childhood, continuing w to the time that he went and studied at Stanford. And here, when he was in the Monterey area, and here you get a chance to look at the different sea life. Oh, and you could also use a magnifying glass. So this is the time that he spent in the Monterey canning business or work, cannery role. more clips of movies. As you see, everything is beautifully done with little details, like look at the uh, seagull. So everything is very, very detailed and very um, fun because it gives another layer to, the sto to his stories. Okay. This is um, his musical, The Pipe Dream. You hear the music. Okay. It says pull. It 
says here. Difference between uh, the brittle star and the starfish. Touch. And you get to touch the difference. And then listen in a shortwave radio conversation between Sparky Inya and his friend Johnny. So listen. Let's see if we can listen. Listen in on a shortwave radio conversation between Sparky Inya and his friend Johnny, who is sailing on a fishing boat out of Monterey. Ed had a remarkably fine safe. It was so good that he worried for fear. Some misguided and romantic burglar might think that there was something of value in it and trying to open it might abuse and injure its beautiful mechanism. Indeed, this is a beautiful safe here. Now, after a fire destroyed the lab, they found the safe lying on its side and opened it. So, are you curious to see what's in it? It says open. Okay. We found half a pineapple pie, a quarter of a pound of gorgonzola cheese, and an open can of sardines. All of them, except for the sardines, in good condition. The sardines were a little dry. And in the trailer, you get um, a little glimpse of what the trailer looked like. This is his description, I shall take my dog, and that's another re uh, reassurance that I'm neither dangerous nor insane. Okay, a pickup truck, camper top, rather like the cabin of a small boat or a shell of a learned snail. Well, I can't see much in there, but I see that he liked the, his courvoisier, and he has some shaving, a shaving kit in there. And a little stovetop. I guess he didn't need much. Oh, and a little refrigerator there, if you could see it. And that's his camper. Not much of a lock either, but then, you know, in the 60s, I yeah. guess you didn't need it. And with a chronological um, depiction of his life from 1900 to 1968, uh, the awards, the travels, the books, everything that uh, clearly from his childhood. So he... Um, was born in 1902 in Salinas, and then this is his childhood, and then, oh, he um, graduates from high school, he goes into Stanford, he leaves Stanford without a degree, and then he starts publishing his books, and he gets his medals, he gets um, recognition, his three marriages, the movies that were done based on his books and then I guess his passing away and this and of course his let's not forget the Nobel Prize 1962 where he travels to communist countries I guess 1963 and this is our visit to the Steinbeck Museum very much recommended.